like I say, there's all these people, all these paid people, and all these other people that will be like, oh, nobody believes blah, blah, blah. It's just Rick Bush and Rodney Briley. And they're just, like I say, grasping at straws or one of the other people. You know, and really it mattered, it mattered not, it matters not. You know, like I said, um, and eventually you'll find out how basically, well, originally the mafia was, was doing it for me or someone was doing it for me. Um, they were paying service or paying homage or whatever, and so they were running the, um, the, um, the, uh, some of the film studios for me. Like I said, some people were trying to muscle in, and eventually the, the mafia would find out about, you know, how blah blah or something, so they would, you know, a lot of people generally decided to eventually just to pay service to me or pay homage to me, so they would take care of one of my things for me, like my film studios, you know. The Irish, the, 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 what's called the Mafia. Yeah, you know, like I said, I had saved quite a few Mafia people and blah, 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 medical, that kind of thing, and other things. And I had been taking care of so many people. And I said, well, the photographs and the document records were destroyed. You know. Yeah, like I said, there's a very easy explanation to, to quantify and explain this first star, LS, me. I, I can explain it to you very easily. It's all these things. You know, it's not really all that mystical or mysterious. You know, anyway, though. But, um, like I said, uh, all my models and all my all my things being, <laughs> all the old things, all the models of chariots and everything else like that were in warehouses, in air, old airship warehouses in like three or four different countries. So at some point in time, JFK or Richard Nixon or somebody decides to go in and burn them, you know, to destroy the photographs and the records because it doesn't match their prescribed or, or created history, so, you know, it matches, you know, what I was doing in the reality, so, they go through and they try and burn them, and like I said, I'm contacted, and they're like, they're burning the models and burning the, the whatever, like, and whatever, it doesn't matter, I said, don't, don't, let them burn, or just don't worry, you know, put them out if you can, but don't, I guess, I guess they were actually having armed guards trying to keep the firefighters away from the buildings just to let them burn or something like that. So it's fine, let them burn, don't, you know, if you can take the people out, whatever. Anyway, though, whatever. I don't really know, I don't remember the situation. Other people are, do you believe blah, blah, blah. It's like, wow. You know, you'll grow up, you'll grow old. Your children will grow up, they'll grow old. You know, I was in existence for hundreds of thousands of years. You know. Like I said, I did 1.5 million years of community service. Basically, from the point in time when I was Brian, Brian, five or six different things, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, if you look at it in time and space, I went over everything, and then I went back. Became Brian. So. Anyway. All these things is what they were doing to try and... And basically, like I said, what a lot of the computer AIs that they built to go after Brian or go after the creator, me, basically, you know, they, um, you know, killing Brian or killing, you know, they realized that no human could actually do it, so they built blah, 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 to go kill me. And like I said, by the time it could actually get to me and kill me, and then they had to find me out there in space, because like I said, there's a lot of stars, and I was a starship, LSF. It could be on any one of those planets. Like I said, the LSF is on another planet. So it could be on any one of those planets out there in the, in, that you see. And there are thousands, like I said, over 3,000, some 100, some millions or trillions of years ago. There are 280,000 what's called planets. At one point in time, people used to watch stars or star systems blink into existence. People say stars are going out now. They're actually getting more and more every day. Anyway, or something like that, to a certain point. Like I said, who I was, what I was, you know, that's what I was. Anyway. So, meanwhile, you know, a lot of people from the past, you know, saved all this stuff for me, saved all these records for me, because they know, you know, who I am and what I am. But then again, that doesn't match the Vatican and blah, blah, Pope and blah, blah. And basically, it's just, like I say, Nixon and a bunch of presidents and, and all that stuff, and they're just grasping at straws. Rodney Briley, Rick Bush. Like I said, I was still in existence, still in the universe, and Rodney Briley and Rick Bush were long since dead, long since gone. 
you know, when, when their when their computer programs or whatever that were sent to kill me finally caught up with me. Five hundred billion years from now or five hundred billion years from some point in time. They caught up with me. Like I said, I think they might have attacked or whatever, but then they but you know, I was too well defended and guarded, so whatever. Anyway, time, space, whatever, blah blah blah. It's all gets all confusing and ridiculous. Like I said they realized that it would take hundreds of millions of years to actually even get close to me. So Anyway, and like I said, by the time they could get close to me, they had actually gained some level of sentience themselves or something like that or been affected or just whatever, you know, and actually we got themselves reprogrammed, you know, and just stopped because it was pointless. By the time they could kill me, they, you know, it wouldn't have mattered. So. Anyway, and like I said, I jumped to nanotech and was stretchy. So, not stretchy as a nanotech or a computer sentient life form, and which is cute and 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 harmless. So, uncontainable, yes, but cute and harmless. So anyway, so and it was all you know. Like I said, other people dealt with it, and like I said, you know. Because even the songs, everything, everyone knew. Like, it doesn't really matter. So, like, everything that Rodney was going to do, everything Rick Bush was going to do, everything that they're doing with the courts, everything that they're doing in general is just pointless. And like I said, a lot of the, a lot of the artificial intelligence programs eventually just went back to go stop it or go kill whoever or whatever, or do whatever. Anyway, I forget. Like I said to one, one, one person one time, I said, well, the thing was, was you sent them out there to get me. They couldn't find me. They didn't know where I was. And so, and eventually they started doing bad things. And then eventually they, anyway, so basically the, the, the end result was that it was, was pretty much the things that they sent out into the universe to go do whatever. We're going to come back. And they mostly just went back and killed a bunch of humans. So people would be like, so the things we sent out there to kill you are just going to come back and kill us. It's like, yeah, pretty much. Because well, I'm Lucifer Starline, the great creator of the universe, blah blah blah, and defended by twelve life form types and thousands or millions of life forms. You people were just people, you know. So they were trying to kill a president or kill kill a creator. So and well, so anyway. I said, whatever, it's a paradoxical whatever thing, problem. So, anyway, I, find, I told him at some point, I said, well, that's what they did. They went out to the universe, blah, 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 they came back, killed a bunch of people, did a bunch of horrible things, whatever. Anyway, I forget, I used to know the exact path that they took. The things that Rick, that, that, that Rick Bush and Rodney and a bunch of other people at Congress and also Mike and his brother were doing. A bunch of other people. I used to know all the different paths of whatever. I said I predicted a lot of stuff and then I tracked it and watched it and knew it. I said I'm Lucifer Star. So, you know, there's me, 800 galaxies, and blah blah. And then there's these five or six humans on Earth. So, there's so, so much of a difference that, you know. Everyone's like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, shut up. I, you know, it's so ridiculous. And like I said, that's probably why they were going after the sheriffs. They're not really sheriffs. They're star, they're star employees. They wear the star badge, don't they? So, you know, I was the ones doing star police force or star security. They're one of my groups. So, whatever. You know, and all the pictures are like, well, these are Jews, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, there's a star. This, there's a, those are LS employees. I had security employees. I had Irish people. I had blah, 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 blah. I had ships, spaceships, colonies. And that's just my old epic. This was just, just leftover stuff from what I used to do. So, I say a bunch of children going, oh, what? It's like, well, 
And like I say, realistically, a lot of people, and actually a lot of people left like a thousand years ago or 500 years ago or some amount of time ago. And once they got to space, they planned to kill everyone on Earth. And me, of course. A lot of, a lot of people, you know, blah, 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 had done such horrible things that they, you know, killing a pl one planet would make sense to get me anyway. So I was like, Rodney, you know, 800 galaxies and I'm the protector of, of, of all life forms throughout the galaxy and the universe and first creator of blah, blah, blah. Like most people would kill a whole planet or even a whole star system just to get me. Like if they're bad people, but you know, the level of effort that it would take to kill me is such, was such a high ridiculous amount that, you know, most people wouldn't even do it. It's only the few, the proud, the epic stupid that would try. And they would probably fail. Thing was that Ro that Rick Bush and Rodney and a bunch of other people wanted wanted to do it silently, and without anybody else knowing who I was. So I was just like, eh. and whatever. <laughs> like I said, trying to kill a hundred trillion year old or a, a ninety nine trillion year old life form that's the first creator of the first stars and first life and twelve epic life form types using computer and and and, and biologicals in perfect seamless order without any adverse effects to them. Like you couldn't even tell. Like like, 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 like my Borg didn't have any nasty things hanging off of them. They were just, it was all on the inside. Just a implant that interfaced directly and was possibly biological in orientation itself. There are other ways if you spend enough time and effort on it. So, we you include it, but you know, whatever. Anyway, the half-ass and, and hack job way was basically what the American military did, creating, trying to create, you know, trying to put wires inside of people and all kinds of crap, and like I said, I had to clean that up. So, there are a whole lot of life forms that were very thankful that I was in existence. So, anyway, like I said, this one poor soldier or whatever, people were like, well, we're going to have to redo a whole, we're going to have to recreate his whole body. And I was like, well, just do it, just do it. You know, we can't leave him like that. He had been so whatever that, you know, there wasn't a lot left of him. So we had to just rebuild his whole, the whole thing and implant him into a new body. So, and everybody's like, well, it's like, well, I was a hundred trillion years old or a couple hundred million years. Like, 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 say, like I say, my exoskeletons were over a hundred billion years before humanity. And my 1.5s, like, they existed before humans first too. So, anyway, like I always said, know what you're going up against. And Rodney and Rick Bush certainly did not. Even as just Brian, I owned Lloyd's of London and, and one of the largest cruise line ships and aircraft tour companies in the world. So, Rick Bush would be like, he's rich, you're rich, blah, blah. It's like, you have no idea. So. You know, like everyone's like the devil, Lucifer, blah blah blah, trying to play God, blah blah. It's like that's why I make these videos so, you, so to explain what and who Lucifer truly was, and it's me. All these things are what I am. So, and what's happened to me and everything else. Lucifer, Starline. Later on, Rick Bush was trying to say, we control three, 300 planets, blah, blah, 3,000 planets. We control all your planets. Like, no, you don't. Why? Because you can pretend to be the president. <laughs> Stupid. Or you can pretend to be Republicans. Like, like Rick Bush would say, well, if we get people in the courthouse, we'll control the courthouse. Oh. I was like, oh. I was the founder of the courthouse system. All those judges. All those lawyers. Every single one are from my different schools and my different whatever. It's so ridiculous and so stupid. <laughs>